Hi, this is Mike Griffith from SEC Country and the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. I'm here with Nigel Warrior. He's a top 100 player. All those college rankings, though, they don't really matter anymore, do they, Nigel? Not really, not really. Not really. I'm at the best school right now. Yeah, you are at the best school, and you're gonna, you know, there's going to be a lot of expectations for you going to the University of Tennessee. It's almost unfair. I mean, you're coming from the high school ranks, and now you're going to be playing for a team expected to compete for the SEC championship. What are the expectations that you have for yourself this season? Um, the expectations I have for myself are stay above the next man, basically. Just if I if the next man can do it, I can do it better. Just that's that's what my expectation is this year. So it's all about the competition for you. Yeah, and staying in school. You know, mom, she wants to stay in school, so I stay in school. Of course, that's another goal. I was going to ask you about your mom, Tanji. I've talked to her a lot. Everybody says. Just talk to Tanji. She keeps him in line. She really does seem to keep you in line. She what, does. what? When you think about the attributes and the person that you've grown to become, you're still growing. But, you know, what did your mom do for you when you think about that? Everything. You know, I am who I am because of her. You know, she um, she taught me that. She didn't say this, but this was, I can tell she taught me this: that every little thing can be huge. So you know, one little thing can can go to a, you know, a whole mountain, basically, you know, it can go into that. And I want to thank her because of that, because she's lovely and she's the best. She's doing the camera for us tonight, yes. so we thank you for that. <laughs> she's taking care of us. Now, everybody knows, we talked about it before, the elephant in the room, your dad played in the NFL, mm -hmm. and he's a former Vile, Dale Carter. What do you get from Dale? Um, I get that we can't trust everyone, you know, words, you no know, words get around. You know, and those are rumors. You no know, rumors. You can't believe everything someone says. I also learned it from my mom too. Right. But you know, my dad really put some emphasis on it. And you know, people say that they know him or you know, but they really know that they know of him. Right. You know, yeah. So you gotta watch for things like that. You know, so you talking about? And you told me he was never really overzealous when it came to coaching you up. He kind of hung back there, kind of wait, and then the door would close, and then you'd get the advice. Yeah. Yeah. He, he just waited to, you know, he waited to see everything I've done, to every, everything I did that day or, you know, that week. And, when, you know, when, it, when the doors are closing, just me and him, we just go over, we talk over it. And he helps me understand what I'm doing wrong and he helps me, you know, just help me work on it. You know, it's just something, I don't know, it's something, he's, he's smart with it, you know, because he's been there and did it. So, you know. There's, there's a bond. There's a bond. He knows how you're thinking. Yeah. And now, of course, you're trusting the Tennessee staff. You, you could have gone anywhere. You, you could have named whatever school you wanted to go to, Nigel, but you picked Tennessee. What was it about Coach Jones? What is it about Coach Jones that, that made you trust him where you're going to put your football future in his hands? Well, he's laid back. Well, I wouldn't say he's laid back. He has different personnel. Right. right. So, um, he's, he's trendy. You know, he's cool. He's a cool person, you know. Um, I love shoes. He loves shoes, you know. And uh, as a coach, though, he's the type of coach that he stays on you, but it's quiet. Right. Yeah. Like, he doesn't say anything to you, but if he's going to say something, that means that he cares about you. If he don't say anything, then you might want to be worried about it. So you say, now, he might be a little bit more low-key, but Coach Martinez. Martina, coach Martinez is the live coach. That's my best coach. That's, the, that's how I do be Coach Martinez. He's like energetic. If you did this, he's gonna tell you right in there that you did it. And you know, he's gonna give you your props and when you're wrong, he's gonna tell you when you're wrong. That's what I love about Well there'll be a little bit for you to learn, Nigel, but obviously a great prospect. You're graduating tomorrow. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate you doing this interview for the Atlanta Journal Constitution and SEC Country. This is Mike Griffith from College Park, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta.